Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Hey, I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to do something interesting that Miss Hazel and I love to do. We're going to make a triptych. Now a triptych is a um, piece of art that comes in three parts. So the trip art, tri, is um, from Greek for three. And then I have to go look up the tick part, but I don't remember. Um, but generally speaking, Ms. Hazel, I'll look it up oh, Miss right Hazel, will look up because I just it went out of my head just this very second. Oh, um, quite often, when people first started making them, they were religious paintings or pieces of art. People did them a lot on wood, and then would put hinges so you could close up the art and then open it up like this. Um, I actually have one at home that's a little mini one that I put out at the holidays. So we're going to show you um, a fairly easy way to do it. I took a big piece of construction paper and I cut it into three parts. And to help us, I'm going to oh, Miss Kate, tape it together. Greek and it's called three fold. Fold. That's right. The fold. The tip. The tick part is for fold. Thank you, Miss Hazel. Yeah, and it's spelled T Y C H. Yes. Oh my gosh! I learned something new today. Thanks, Miss Kate. Oh, you are so welcome. But I forgot the fold part. So three fold. We're not going to fold ours. We're going to hang ours differently. So what I did was, so now I've taped them. So now they'll stay together. So when we paint it, it's super easy to have the whole painting and then separate it later. So this yeah, is how we start. Good. But then what we ended up with was, this is what I wanted to do was do sort of an ocean sunset. So with a sunset -y sky. So I painted with um, blue and white and black at the bottom, and then I used orange, red, and um, yellow at the top to create the sky. And then here comes the fun part for me. Was it tricky to paint over the crack where the paint is, where the papers taped together? There Any were a tricks? couple. There were a couple times where it lifted. You could see it got paint on the back. Um, I think the trick is to have something underneath your work surface so you don't get paint all over everything if you're painting. I just put new paper down on this table because I did get paint all over when I did it. So um, now this one is dry so I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in fish. So I use some tissue paper and I cut out fish shapes. But you could, it could be anything that you want. Like let's say you want to do a farm scene or you want to do something in the woods or maybe some different seasons. You can kind of do whatever you want to do. I just wanted to do an could it ocean be scene. Abstract as well. Oh, you it just could be scribble, scrabble water. Yes, it could be anything you want that would go into three pieces. Anything, anything that you want. I'm saying you have to make sure it's going in the right direction. Um, oh. Yeah, so I'm just using a glue stick, but I like this idea of putting tissue paper over paintings because it's just mm -hmm. sort of interesting to Gives me. It another dimension. Yes. And so for tissue paper, if you have some, um, at my house, we have a wrapping paper box and in that wrapping paper box is full of, well, wrapping paper and some old tissue because I like to save it from gifts. Here we have um, this box, we write decorative tissue on to make sure it's not mixed up with bleeding tissue paper because that right, would not work very well. Jumps. And we use a little Sharpie to put some eyes on these fish. Oh, so and fun. then here comes the fun part. I'm going to flip it back over and carefully take off my tape because I don't want to rip my paper. Oh, this is very exciting, Miss Kate. Oh, I just love this part. Sometimes we've done it with a giant tree or a field of flowers. You can start looking for it too because a lot of artists use this. Yes, you can, if you Google it or you know put it online, look for it, you could find... Um, all sorts of things. So now if I put this out like this and I hung it up on my house, I would oh, hang it up yeah. space probably so about this far apart. Yeah. And it's one painting, but it's now broken up into three. And there you have it. This is a triptych. Very nicely done. All right. Well, thanks everybody for coming to visit us and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alameda Arts. You can also follow us on Instagram to see all these different projects at Alameda Arts Fun. And um, look at our website, alamedaarts.com. And if you do any of these, please take a picture. If you Instagram it, hashtag it Alameda Arts Fun so we can find it and see what you're up to. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye, friends.